it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they've been fooled we love to hear good things about our bad habits and i've got none for you many of us love all things italian from ferraris to olive oil especially olive oil and the olive oil industry and media spur us on with articles asserting that olive oil nutrition is tops and that olive oil is a good fat the problem though is that many journalists do not fully dissect the scientific studies they are reporting on press releases aren't questioned facts get distorted qualifiers disappear headlines turn sensational and so does the truth truth but what's the truth really the fats you eat are the fats you wear and there is nothing attractive about wearing olive oil or coconut oil uh, or any other oil for that matter other adverse effects of consuming oils include unbalanced omega 3 to 6 ratio which are essential fats diabetes and immune system suppression among others whether it's olive oil coconut oil flaxseed oil heat treated or cold pressed oil raw oil oils do not promote health in any shape or form every gram of fat even olive oil is 9 calories per gram every gram of meat and dairy is equal to 4 calories per gram or thereabouts and starches are only about 1 calorie per gram veggies are 40 times as caloric dilute than oil any oil even olive oil how can oil make you lose weight being the most calorically dense substance on this planet oil all oils are the most calorically dense and nutritionally bereft food on this planet it's not even food actually fake food 100 grams of olive oil contains 14 mg of vitamin E and 62 mcg of vitamin K which means about 7 tablespoons of olive oil provide 93% of the daily recommended allowance or RDA of vitamin E and 59% of the RDA of vitamin K but 7 tablespoons is a lot of oil and a whopping 833 calories olive oil contains very small amounts of uh, the minerals iron calcium potassium and sodium and uh, they so negligible that you can actually ignore them now let me talk about a myth myth which says olive oil is especially heart healthy because it's rich in polyphenols and plant sterols what are polyphenols polyphenols a type of antioxidant which helps protect your cells from damage certain polyphenols have anti-inflammatory properties as well and how do plant sterols work plant sterols are compounds that help block your body from absorbing cholesterol while plant sterols help lower ldl cholesterol they don't appear to affect your levels of hdl cholesterol or triglycerides a mere tablespoon of olive oil delivers a hefty 120 calories for a mere 30 mg of polyphenols oblique plant sterols by contrast just 11 calories of green leafy lettuce gets you about the same amount of polyphenols oblique plant sterols also let me separate fat from fiction to meet your omega 3 needs from olive oil alone you need to uh, consume 8 ounces of olive oil about a cup or even more than that which is 1900 calories and 42 grams of saturated fat that's a lot the bitter truth is that as dr cadwell called well assistantin points out between 14 and 17% of the olive oil is saturated artery clogging fat which uh, every bit as aggressive in promoting heart disease as the saturated fat in roast beef 2 tablespoon of olive oil has 3 times more saturated fat than 4 ounces of white meat chicken and same as 4 ounces of lean beef olive oil has been touted as being heart healthy due to its essential fatty acid content yet it has a poor ratio of omega 6 to omega 3 the goal is to have a 4 is to 1 ratio yet olive oil is just 14 or rather is 14 is to 1 let's talk about another hype the mediterranean diet is a heart healthy diet and it's rich in olive oil so olive oil must be heart healthy and the key to a longer life but Uh, correlation is in causation the truth really is the people on earth with the longest life expectancy uh, and the least heart disease do not eat diets rich in olive oil or any other fat they do eat a diet rich in whole natural foods like vegetables fruits whole grains and beans 
while olive oil may be less bad than saturated fats and trans fats at least in terms of its own impact on uh, blood lipids that hardly makes it a good or healthy addition to your diet um all oils are obesogenic diabetogenic uh, which means that they cause diabetes and atherosclerosis all oils promote heart disease all oils damage the endothelium of the arteries or the life jacket of the circulatory system all oils affect the flow mediated dilation dilation or in simple words the flow of blood through the arteries is impeded or retarded for as much as 6 hours peaking at 4 hours after a fatty meal even if that meal contains olive oil it really doesn't matter even if it was extra virgin kind all oils make the blood cells clump up making the blood sticky and viscous all oils affect the immune system negatively the good that you hear about oils is not science but marketing we just need one third of uh, a teaspoon of fatty acids a day and we can easily make it up by eating whole foods like nuts seeds whole grains and legumes fatty acid deficiency is essentially unknown guys i hope you found this information useful you have a very good day bye bye peace